Hello, I'm Richard Jacob from the Western Pennsylvania Mushroom Club and uh, I want to introduce the Button ID application uh, that we've just finished developing and uh, releasing to all our members. And uh, this is a little application that will help you create a list of the fungi species or mushrooms that you um, learn to identify and know. And uh, as part of the Button ID program, we award badges or buttons so that the more mushrooms you know the higher the badge that you uh, can be awarded so it goes from 10 uh, 25 50 75 100 and uh, then if you reach 150 mushrooms you're counted as an identifier in the club um, anyway we want to promote this to new members and we wanted a way where people could easily create lists. Um, so you can download Western Pennsylvania Mushroom Club Button ID program for Windows or Mac and uh, install it and then it's pretty easy, you just fire it up. Okay, here's the program. Now, uh, first thing we have to do, there's no records in this program to begin with. The, f the first thing we have to do is go to setup and put a name in. So I've put my name there. You can put your full name in, that's the best thing to do. Sometimes uh, if you take really nice pictures, we like to use them on the website for the mushroom catalog and you can give your permission to use those pictures. Um, we can't get anything directly from this, this file. Um, it's uh, an offline application. It doesn't communicate with the internet at all. But you could send us that file, um, um, the, the resulting database, and then we can get the pictures from there. But the best thing to do is contact us if you take really nice pictures of mushrooms and are willing to let us use them. You can export whatever species you've already identified using this button to an Excel file. Um, and also you can import from old versions of button ID. Okay, so I've put my name in. And now I'm ready to create um, a species entry. So I got a species entry and I say new record. Uh, it's got a drop down list of um, about eight or nine hundred different mushrooms. And in this case, it also um, starts to fill in from what you type. Okay, I'm going to put in uh, the Jack O' Lantern. And as you can see, the scientific name and the common name are not linked, so you have to enter them each independently. It is missing certain species, and that's because this list was complete or partially complete at the time that this program was created, and the names of species change. Also, like I said, this list of species is not complete for what we know in Western Pennsylvania. Um, and you can add unique names that aren't on this list and it will just create a new entry for it, so that's fine. And we highly recommend when you learn um, a species and, we, and you learn how to identify it, um, to record both the date that happened and the location where you found the species. In this case, I found it last year in the autumn um, in North Park, uh, just north of Pittsburgh. Uh, this helps senior members of the club, especially Dick Dougal, who's the administrator for the Button ID program, and uh, it allows him to know that you found the species, you know, at the right sort of time of year and in places where other club members have found it, um, rather than it's a unique one-off find. It's not saying that you know, you didn't find a species for the first time that no one else has found in a place that no one has found it. But um, it just sort of helps. Um, and it also help you because you can go back and say, you know, what mushrooms have I found in North Park before? So you can do searches and finds. Okay, so we can put in some notes about that entry. And you can say, okay, orange mushroom. grows on, it's often buried. So it grows on buried wood. Can be very large. 
It also glows in the dark, apparently, but uh, that's difficult to see and you unlikely to uh, spot it when walking around in the dark in the forest. Anyway, so we've got um, an entry here um, and there's a big space here for images and you can just drag and drop um, an image onto this. So we can put an image into this space here. And we'll just uh, pull down the view and open up my image files. Okay, so here's a lot of images I've got of different mushrooms. Here's one I took um, from about last year. You can see the 19th. So I can take that image and just drag and drop it. There we go. Onto our entry. So now we've got a picture of the mushroom and a little bit of information about it. And that's all I need to do to enter a mushroom. I can view as a list. So here's my mushroom species here. Uh, so when you've got over 10 uh, entries in here, um, you can apply for a, a, um, a button ID for 10. Um, and at that point, we recommend printing this list with the images and the notes. So here's the print. I can uh, print straight out to the printer and then hand that to Dick Dougal. Um, or um, if you want to email it, you can uh, print to a PDF file and, uh, and then email that to Dick Dougal. I've just cancelled there. I'm not going to print right now. Uh, that's pretty much it. When you've got a lot of entries here, you can sort by the index number, the name, scientific name, um, date or location. Uh, we've got a help in there, so there's a little bit of help. I'm just recording this YouTube page now. And uh, if you remember, if you want to enter a species, you go to the species entry. All right. Uh, so that's a quick introduction to the button ID program and uh, we welcome feedback uh, if you have any bugs you found or um, things you would like changed or suggestions for future versions please let us know thank you and goodbye